Pot Limit Omaha, every player is dealt four cards. The gameplay is exactly like Hold'em in that there's a button, small blind, big blind, and four betting rounds. The difference with Omaha, of course, is you're gonna have nine cards. You can only use two from your hand and you must use exactly two. Also, with it being pot limit, you can only bet the exact number of the pot, no more. So, so pot limit Omaha is, is actually, in some ways it's a lot like Hold'em, though when it comes to the actual strategy, it's a very, very different game. Uh, Omaha PLO is a very complicated game. You, you actually have to account for a lot of dead cards, which is different from Hold'em. In pot limit Omaha, you have to be aware of one thing. The average winning hand is much better than it would be in a game like Hold'em because there's so many extra cards in play. One of my best tips for playing Pot Limit Omaha is not to, is not to play unconnected cards like 10, 8, 7, 4. That dangler, the 4, is a very dangerous card. It will cost you money. A good tip for a beginner playing PLO is to, is to wait for, for four cards that have a relationship. The real key to Pot Limit Omaha is to have a coordinated hand. You need all four cards to work together. Um, you know, like just having two aces and then two other cards that are not suited with the aces that don't really help make straights, uh, we call those dry aces. And because your opponent's going to have four cards he's working with, dry aces are not enough in PLO. The most misplayed hand in Pot Limit Omaha is probably a hand with two aces in it. While Aces is really a strong hand in No Limit Hold'em, in Pot Limit Omaha, if you don't catch a really good flop with pocket Aces, a lot of the time you can just check and fold. Position, position, position. When you play Pot Limit Omaha, even more so than Texas Hold'em, this is a game of position. So you could arguably play almost any hand if you're on the butt. You know, I'm not saying you should play any hand, but you almost could. Whereas even a very good starting hand, if you're out of position, it's really hard to play that hand for profit. There aren't too many specialist Omaha players, especially at the lower stakes. And uh, I think it's still a very profitable game. Also in Omaha, there's, there's never a, one hand that is much of a big favorite against another hand. It's a fun game. I mean, it's a, it's a huge action game. And uh, people love action. And I think it's... Uh, direction poker's headed right now is probably PLO is going to be uh, um, pretty big in the future. If you know how to play Hold'em, you're going to figure out the fundamentals of Omaha right away. But those little tricky details, that's really what separates, you know, just the mediocre player from the champions.